and welcome you to the second session in the Marine Energy Wales Conference. We were just debating here on the panel the turnout and the optimism that's still in the room, which is, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, we have here in the UK some of the best engineers, some of the best technology, some of the best resources to deliver on what we are calling the ocean energy race. Um, a couple of years ago, we looked at how we were going to describe ourselves as an industry, and we did a, a fairly good job at talking about the technology, the projects, and our way forward. I think it's fair to say in coming uh, months and in, in the last sort of 18 months, we've seen a decline in political will to deliver on marine energy more broadly across the UK. That's not to say that we're in a negative position. I think where there are challenges, there are definitely opportunities. And certainly in this session, we're going to explore what are the opportunities for revenue creation and delivery of this industry. If we look at the industrial strategy and the pillars within that, I certainly believe that marine energy has a strong role to play in delivering on all of those areas. So how do we maximize on that and how do we deliver? And what are the opportunities for doing that? So I have a, a really esteemed panel here who have been looking at these issues and who are going to present on some of the solutions to those. I'm not going to spend long talking as I usually do and I'm going to get on to our first speaker, Dr. Stephen Wyatt. Um, Stephen has a long history in innovation delivery and in terms of understanding how we bring R&D through to a commercial readiness level. And I think his support through the catapult for this industry has been incredibly strong. So Stephen, if you'd like to kick off for us. 